All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. Welcome to another edition of Pass or Pull, a global first edition actually of Pass or Pull, the series on this channel where I try to give you guys all the information you need to best decide how you want to approach an upcoming banner. And usually at the end of the video, I give you guys my personal recommendation about whether or not this banner in question is worth your hard earned dragon stones. All right, now this one's gonna be a little bit different from most of the other ones we've done in the past because usually when we get a new unit, a new banner, we can kind of base our opinion, base the recommendation off of what JP got as far as the banner goes, right? Because usually it's the same banner between Global and JP. But this time we don't have that as a reference because there is no JP banner. This is, once again, a Global first release, a Global first unit. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit different, but we're gonna try to make it work anyways, all right? So I guess the first thing I will say is that this new LRUI Goku is absolutely amazing, all right? Like easily, in my mind, top three to top five unit in the game. Probably top three though. I mean, if you want a breakdown of how he compares to the LR Blue Fusions that are coming for the five year anniversary, I did make a video about that earlier today, so go check it out. You'll probably find it somewhere above my head over here. But, um, and we'll get into that in a second too later on in the video, but he is easily one of the best units in the game now. I want to say top three. You guys, of course, can have your own opinions. But he's amazing. He's really, really freaking good. But the issue with this upcoming unit and this upcoming banner is that he's not a Dokkan Fest LR. All right. He's not a Dokkan Fest LR, which means that he's going to be coming with a legendary summon banner. And if history is any indication, legendary summon banners are just straight up not that good man they're not good value for your stones and most of the time the only unit you're looking for on the banner at least from the featured unit pool is this one new unit and everything else is just kind of negligible you know so taking a look at the previous legendary summon banners we've seen on global recently we have the lr godku banner which was the last normal legendary summon banner we got on global and uh, as you can see, man, the featured units, aside from the God Coup, they're really just there to dilute the featured pool and decrease the actual pull rates of the new LR. And I'm not saying that these guys are bad per se, right? Like, all these units are decent, right? Like, this guy's really good, this guy's really good, this guy's good, Gawasu has his uses for sure. Like, he actually helped me beat the Legendary Goku event with a, I think, Time Travelers team and uh, she's a solid support too so like these units i'm not saying are bad but you can really pull them on any other banner and long time players are gonna have the majority of these units rainbowed right so yeah legendary summon banners in general are just kind of tough sells kind of tough recommendations as far as telling people to summon the one after this or the one before this i guess was the lr kill and Khalifa banner and uh, once again super hype new lr super good new unit but the rest of the pool was just, you know, it was just there. And once again, not saying they're bad. Kefla's great. Uh, Bula's great. The new Kale and Khalifla, they're great as well. Um, but they're going to be available on every single banner, right? Moving on, we got the LR Full Power Frieza banner, which I think we got for Halloween last year. And uh, as you can see, I mean, not bad units, not amazing either. And then we have the LR Beerus banner, which you can just <laughs> you can just forget about this one, man. This one was a little rough. And then we have the um, LR Tech Broly banner, which was the part two for Goku Day last year. And once again, as you can see, Broly was super hype. And if we're gonna base off this year's part two banner um, off of this one, then things are not looking so good. I mean, this guy's actually amazing. Like, he, he's amazing, but still. What I'm trying to say, I guess, is that if we are just gonna get a regular legendary summon banner like this one or the uh, past couple of ones you just saw, then it's kind of hard to recommend people spend the majority of their stones or even, you know, like half their stones or whatever on this LRUI Goku banner because it's most likely gonna be a pretty bad banner. Legendary summon banners are generally speaking pretty bad banners. Now there are some exceptions. 
there are some exceptions. If, let's say, for some reason, they decided to make the UI Goku banner a top legendary summon banner, so two featured LRs, and the other featured LR is something really good, like Kaelin Khalifla, for example, or the LR androids, then that's going to increase the value of the banner significantly. But keep in mind that top legendary summon banners are very rare. We've only had, I think, three of them so far, and I just don't really see them doing that for this banner specifically because LR UI Goku is like hype enough on his own to get a lot of people to summon, right? So I don't think Bandai feels like they need to give us an extra incentive. So I think most likely it's going to be just a standard one LR legendary summon banner. Um, there's also the chance that we get a double rates banner, but we recently just got the double rates for the LR Gumku. So that again is a very unlikely scenario. So uh, yeah, that's one reason why you might not want to go crazy on this banner. Another thing, of course, and we can't have a video like this without mentioning it, is the impending, oh not this, hold on, the impending uh, Dual Dokkan Fest for the five year anniversary, right? Which is literally a month and a half away. And I mean, I don't necessarily want to say that the upcoming LRUI Goku is a trap, but by definition, it's basically a trap because the purpose of this LRUI Goku is to make us spend as many of our stones as possible before this anniversary drops, before the Dual Token Fest drops, so that we'll have to buy more stones for the anniversary, right? So obviously that's the whole purpose of dropping a hype unit like this. And once again, by definition, I'd say it's a trap. I mean, the reason I don't want to necessarily call it a trap is because of how good this UI Goku is, but it's going to be a legendary summon banner, most likely. Most likely, I don't know for sure, but it's most likely going to be a very underwhelming legendary summon banner. And if we just compare something like that to these banners right here, where there are three featured Dokkan Fest LRs per banner. This one has the Gogeta, has the LR Cell, as well as the LR Gogeta, as well as some of the, you know, better or best TURs in the game, like this blue Gogeta, like this full power Broly. Moving on to the Vegito banner, even better because we got AGL LR Gohan, right? We got um, LR Vegito, we got the Tech Trunks, we got the AGL Zamasu, like I said, some of the best TURs in the game. If we're just talking about straight up value compared to any kind of legendary summon banner that UI Goku could bring with him, it's not even close, man. It's not even close. Like if I were to rate this banner a 9.5 or 10 out of 10 for value, uh, I would guess that most likely I would give the LR UI Goku banner, even though I don't know what it looks like right now, like a 4 out of 10. All right, like that's kind of where the comparison is. That's kind of where the scales are. Uh, value wise, man, I think the top priority for most players should still be to save for the five year anniversary. And I know like how crazy hyped I was in that video yesterday when the reveal first happened for the LRUI Goku. But you gotta understand that at that time, I was literally just running off of like pure hype, right? First of all, I was mad tired. It was like three in the morning and I was just so excited that it was actually a global first, which I obviously thought was gonna be the case, but I just like didn't let myself fully believe it until it actually happened, right? So um, yeah, man, I mean, of course we have to see the banner first to say for sure, but as I've said before, like, there's no legendary summon banner that we've ever had in the history of this game that can rival or even come close to the value that the five-year Dual Dokkan Fest is going to provide. And as much as I want to say, yeah, you should summon for this guy because he is that amazing. He is that good. You should probably still save most of your stones for the five-year anniversary. My recommendation for the average player is maybe like three, four multis. At the most it really depends on your level of wellness if you're free to play then probably still save most of your stones for the five-year anniversary at the end of the day though as i always like to say people should summon for whatever they want whatever they feel like would make the game the most fun for them right so if you're really that hyped for the lr ui goku and you just need to have him in your life then why not go for it spend all your stones right and 
you'll still be able to get some more stones before the five-year anniversary. I'm sure we will hit top grossing, at least in a couple regions. We'll also have at least one more world tournament, a couple of battlefields and all that stuff before the anniversary drops. So you will still be able to save up a couple hundred stones if you spend all your stones right now for UI Goku. But just from a value standpoint, as far as like getting the most out of your stones, getting the best units out of your stones, um, you know, this banner that's coming up probably isn't the best place to spend them. Now, having said all this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm still going all in on this banner. I'm still going balls deep until I pull this new Goku. Um, I can't resist, man. I, I have problems. You guys know that. So <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be taking my own advice, but for people that are free to play that aren't buying a ton of stones, um, with money, right? Like I am. I do think you should probably be a little bit conservative as far as how many stones you're gonna be spending, how many you wanna budget for this banner. And uh, the main priority, once again, should be to save for the anniversary, okay? So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. That's all I gotta say. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.